Can attraction grow? You might have dated men where the so-called it factor wasn't there. These were men who were kind, they were smart, they were even good looking, but there were no butterflies, no instant chemistry. So what do you do? Do you continue dating men like this and hope that attraction will grow? Or do you stop dating them and try to find the perfect guy? In this video, I'm gonna discuss how attraction can grow and what's necessary to make that happen. It doesn't always grow, but it can with the right person, with the right ingredients. So here, here we go. Most of us think that we want and need instant chemistry. I see it in every online profile. I'll know it when I see it, when I walk into that room. And this is what we've been fed from the time we are young. We are fed the belief that romance is about butterflies and rainbows. The man sees the woman from across the room and there's fairy dust and there's music playing in the background and they are immediately attracted. He rescues her on his white horse and they live happily ever after. Yeah, that almost never happens on any level in real life. And if some version of this actually does happen, it usually burns out quickly because it is often lust or anxiety that actually gives those butterflies. Maybe you felt lucky that you were chosen by this man, but you were not really sure about his feelings and there were many intense ups and downs in the relationship. That's what happens often. And we feel like that is love. That is the attraction we should be looking for where you're feeling like, through the roof and it might have felt like love but it's not love and it's not healthy if you are used to butterflies as a sign of attraction it can feel boring to be with somebody who doesn't turn you on immediately and that has a lot to do with your attachment style and for anyone who doesn't know what attachment styles are Basically, there is the secure attachment, which is somebody who communicates needs and wants and has boundaries and is pretty steady eddy. And then there is the anxious attachment where you attach to partners in an anxious way and you, you doubt your attachment, you doubt the person's feelings for you. And then there's the avoidant attachment. And that's the person who, when things get intense, they start to back away. And most attachments are between an avoidant and an anxious attachment. And so it's this push me, pull you, highs and lows. Maybe sex is great, but you're never really certain where you are. So if you have had unhealthy attachments to men who are avoidant, which is that type I just described, the typical bad boy he keeps you guessing about how he feels about you. He's not is not consistent, you're going to find it hard to be attracted to men who are secure, who are securely attached, because the secures of the world can come off as boring, but they are often incredible partners and they're far from boring once you get to know them. They're just not what you're used to. So let's talk about how can attraction grow? There are ways to grow your attraction with the right men, the men who are kind and respectful and available, these secure guys. You have to imagine being able to kiss him someday, not, you know, I'm turned off. He's a nice guy. There's a lot of nice people who are not kissable. And if he's accountable and continues to show up as someone you can trust, someone you keep getting curious about, keep having fun with, laughing with, <clears throat> give him more time. How much time? I would say at least three dates until you feel either attraction is growing or not growing. When we care about somebody, we actually create attachment to that person. And with attachment, attraction can grow. Our brains do this amazing thing. They create new neural pathways of connection and attraction. So if there is some attraction and you continue to grow in your relationship and keep going on these dates, that could build something. But if you still don't feel the attraction getting stronger after several dates, he might be a nice guy, but not right for you. And I want to give two examples of this. Two clients of mine, one dated a guy who 
was kind and sweet and she enjoyed his company. But after, I don't know, eight, nine, 10 dates, the attraction still wasn't there. And I kept checking in with her. Do you feel like kissing him? He, he even didn't make a move. And there were other issues when we dug deeper. And so that attraction never grew, but this was the beginning of dating for her after her divorce. And she kind of just kept feeling like, but he's so nice. So that didn't grow. And actually she had another guy in the background who the attraction was there from the start and they're now dating. No question about the attraction being there on many, many levels. Another client came to me with the question of whether she could be attracted again, because after her divorce, she was having a hard time being attracted to anyone. And so through the work that we did and working on her attachment style and some of her old patterns, she met a guy who she would never have dated more than once had we not been working together. After two dates, she liked him more. After three dates, she actually was getting excited to see him. And they're now in an exclusive relationship. She is incredibly turned on by this guy. So attraction can grow with the right person. Instead of always thinking there's somebody better out there, which is also a problem with many people, we think we're settling. Focus on the guy who is Mr. Good Enough the man that you might be dating right now who seems great and attraction is starting to grow because attraction can build through time, through physical touch and through emotional connection. And you might just be able to have the most loving relationship in your life if you continue to date in this way. Let me know if you've ever been in a relationship where attraction grew. I'd love to read your comments.